Without citizens' advice, we wouldn't have been able to stay in our home. There isn't any way I could have managed without CAB. If it wasn't for legal aid, I would get my job back. The sitting set advice really gave my grandparents peace of mind. Stephen's trying to pull the rug again. It's like they're just pulling the rug from other people. And how are you supposed to keep standing when they pull that rug away? Okay, well I was as good as homeless. I was, um, I suppose you could call it couch hopping. Uh, been no, no fixed abode for a year or two, although I have places to stay. Um, but I ran out of savings. I've been living on savings. I knew I could claim a benefit. I didn't know which benefit, because I, you know, I, I needed something to help me with mobility. And, uh, and, I, and I wasn't really getting any sound advice anywhere else. So somebody suggested I go to the CAB. They interviewed me as to what my situation was in, in some depth. Um, I suppose to give me the correct advice. Because uh, even though I knew what I could claim, um, I didn't know how to go about it. And when I did claim, and the claim was turned down, uh, because initially the, uh, the medical they sent me for asked me as being 100% fit. Although I could barely walk, uh, they actually put on the medical form I could kneel, crouch, do all these things, which I haven't been able to do for years. About 12 months ago, my grandparents started to have large financial difficulties, which was immensely unusual for them. Um, on the surface it didn't look an awful lot until we started to dig deeper and we were finding large transactions going on their credit cards, um, other large transactions and on their personal shopping accounts and it amounted in the end to just on the credit card alone to be nearly £20,000 worth of debt of what they hadn't used. Um, it caused a tremendous amount of problems as in trying to identify whether it was fraud or whether it was neglect on any behalf. We spoke to Citizens Advice, we did actually find out what the problem was. Um, they give us various options and various routes to go down. They give us the option of reporting it to the police. That wasn't really considered as a viable option because of the nature of it. Um, they give us the option of offering them to make a payment to the creditors. Again, the creditors just wanted far too much money for what their income is and so the final option for stage one of this was bankruptcy with my grandfather so we had to go through all the process of the bankruptcy with the courts and in various other aspects of dealing with it. Well, he's got Alzheimer's as you can see, my grandmother's bedridden so as to what was happening with their finances they was completely unaware until we actually started to dig deeper. Um, we've just gone through stage two of this process which was the debt relief order for my grandmother but even on that with their personal shopping accounts again coming back to family members seven or eight thousand pounds on the personal shopping accounts of which you've got creators and people knocking the door of money which they have not got so we've had to go through this process just to try and give them some peace of mind now now they're getting older.
I work in the mental health team of a local charity called Independent Advocacy. My role and that of my colleagues is to support our clients with issues that might be affecting their mental health. Uh, many of the people we work with are vulnerable adults who are at crisis point. The issues that we try to support them with can range from debt problems, housing problems and benefit issues. People can find themselves in difficulty for any number of reasons. That can be illness, job loss, or just because of the symptoms of their health condition. Uh, my colleagues and I will refer to the Citizens Advice Bureau and assist our clients to attend those appointments and to gather any information that's required. The service that the CAB provides is invaluable in enabling our clients to regain some control over problems that might seem insurmountable and help them concentrate on their continuing recovery. And this is where they really helped me with the appeal. They prepared my appeal for me uh, putting the relevant items in writing, uh, once again after an interview. And uh, obviously that went to the court with me when we went for the appeal, uh, which was granted more or less straight away. Uh, they only questioned me on two items, uh, where I, I scored 30 points, whereas before I'd scored zero points on all the items. So, you know, well, I don't suppose I'm allowed to say I wonder if the medical people originally were biased. Probably not. Who knows? But they are working to the people who are trying to save money. Uh, 